What's up, everybody? Warlock here. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I'm going to give you the top five locations to drop in Season 3 for more wins. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notification bells, and let's get right into the video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to give you the top five locations to drop in Apex Legends Season 3. Season 3 has been out for an insanely long time. The rumor mill is that Season 4 is supposed to drop January 1, 2020, which is the an ideal date. I cannot confirm it, but it seems most likely that it's going to you know, drop January 1, 2020, which would make Season 3 our longest season that we've ever had. With that said, I've been playing a lot of World's Edge. I've been trying to drop all over the map to get and get and analyze all this data for this video, guys, on the loot, the loot spawn rates, you know, how the zone spawns and how you have to rotate out of these places. All these things come into a factor when I made this list. Now, this list is going to be in no particular order, guys. I'm going to kind of start from the top of the map and going down. So first on the list is Epicenter. OK, it's located in the northeast side of the map right next to Capital City. OK, this spot has 15 supply bins it has an interior and a top to the spire of epicenter which have great spawn rates for blue or purple armor another big bonus to this location is that you never have to worry about rotating out because of the location of the of epicenter it's located pretty much in the middle of the map the only thing you ever have to worry about is if the zone is towards a really like right in the corner and you may have to go a little bit farther now one other negative to the map or positive to the map because it's kind of both is that it's located right next to capital city teams that like to land in capital city not at the two construction sites but more towards epicenter hit those buildings and then rotate into epicenter because of the the amazing loot that is at epicenter okay now the flip side to that coin is if your team is fast enough to loot, you hit Epicenter, you loot everything, and then you can rotate into Capital City for some third-party action and get yourself some kills. So Epicenter is definitely first on the list, guys. Make sure you drop there. Coming up next is Refinery. Refinery is located on the edge of the map, guys, a little bit past Epicenter in the northeast corner, okay? This place is insane. 25 loot bins, two spires, the two little villages right next to it, Refinery is probably one of the best spots that me and my teams has ever dropped in this map. It is an ideal spot if your team wants to get fully kitted. I'm talking about fully kitted. All great armor, all good weapons and attachments. The only biggest negative to this spot is because it's so isolated out there, there's nothing around it. Okay, it has one redeploy so you can team can get out, but it barely takes you to epicenter. So the biggest negative with this is rotating out of refinery to get into the zone. So you have to unless you if you're slow looter, if you're slow looters, if you can't loot everything in time, then you have to leave stuff behind to get into the zone without taking damage. Or if another team lands there and you have to loot and then fight, that delays your time to get there. But besides that, this spot is ideal if your entire team wants to get fully kitted going into the rest of the map. Next on the list, guys, Overlook. Okay, I sound like a broken record because I'm staying on one side of the map, but Overlook, Epicenter, and Refinery make this Bramuda, Bramuda, Bramuda Triangle kind of effect. Overlook is not Overlook by any means. It has 19 supply bins, multiple buildings for your team to loot. It's located on the eastern side of the map. It is a high tier loot area for people that don't know. It's high tier loot, okay? It has an underground spot where the train goes. You can go underground. It has six bins to loot there. The only negative to this location is the fact that it it is a hot drop. A lot of teams go there, even if the the ship, the jump ship is going right over it. Teams delay and they wait. Okay, teams go to Overlook. This is a hot drop. That's the only negative I can say about it. But coming out of Overlook, you can hit that redeploy that's right there on the location. It'll take you right into Capital City. It'll also take you down to that little village that's right next to Geyser, which happens to spawn uh, one of those little robot drones, which, oddly enough, ends up having a vault key, and you can go into Geyser. So I definitely suggest dropping Overlook. Again, the only negative is that it's a hot drop. A lot of people go there. Next on the list, guys, is Train Yard. I got to admit, since Season 3 and World's Edge hit, besides Capital City, Train Yard might be the hottest drop in the game. Okay, the Train Yard is the hottest drop in the game, I think. This location is located towards the center of the map, guys. It's not a big location. It has a decent amount of supply bins. It has a bot that spawns there, which, oddly enough, gives you a vault key 9 times out of 10 in my experience. And there's a vault right next to it. There's a vault, guys. Get the bot. Go to the vault. Get some loot. 
another big thing with this is you never have to worry about rotating out of the location also if the zone um and you know if the zone is up towards skyhook you can rotate towards lava fissure and drill site so the biggest negative is that the location you can't get fully kitted coming out of it unless you hit the vault but you can get decent amount of loot and then rotate out to lava fissure or drill site which will finish out the loot for your entire team so train yard is probably one of the best spots to drop again the the only negatives to it is that it's a small loot area so if multiple teams go there which they do it makes fighting with one or no guns like a high chance for that a high chance for that to happen but outside of that train yard is probably one of the best loot spawns or loot drops in the game so make sure to check out train yard okay next and absolutely not least on the list is lava city okay i don't know why people don't go here i think when the game like season three first started people went here all the time i saw it but now like a lot of people don't go here and i don't know why okay it's on the edge of the map it's on the southeastern side most corner okay it's a high tier loot area it doesn't have a lot of supply bins but it has so many buildings for your team to get fully kitted and guess what yeah that's right it has a little robot that drops a vault key and a vault is right next to it there's another vault guys go to lava city okay you can get fully kitted coming out of this area okay and it might be although it's in the corner it probably has one of the best redeploy chains to get into the zone that i've ever seen out of all the locations in the map you can hit the redeploy there which can take you to uh what does it take you to um it can take you to sorting factory which has a redeploy you redeploy there and you can get right into capital city so this location might be one of the best to get into the zone so you can take your time to loot now the negatives to this is that again it is on the edge of the map dome and then the areas next to it until you get to sorting factory the loot isn't good but besides that it's in the corner i think it gets shielded off because of all of the the big huge mountains that are there and kind of the choke points of going to geyser or sorting factory on that train spot but i don't know why people don't go to lava city me and my team for the apex pro league we go to lava city almost every drop Please don't come kill us we go to lava city almost every drop we rarely have another team and if we do it's just one now i will say this if the if the supply ship or the ship is going right over it and it's right below us yeah more teams are going to go but if it's any other direction or any other flight path nobody ever goes to lava city guys and it has some of the highest tier loot in the game plus a vault so make sure you go to check it out lava city is a great location you can get out of there easy with the supply drops but or excuse me the redeploys so go check out lava city that's gonna do it for my list today guys i hope this list was uh will help you out let me know down in the comment section if you guys like my list agree with my list let me know what your favorite spot is to drop in apex Legends season three this season has been absolutely amazing i'm trying to pump these videos out before the end of the season but that's going to do it for today's video guys if you did enjoy it drop a like if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bells guys so you don't don't miss out on future apex legends content for me warlug stay gaming guys i'm out Peace.